A new government report is raising eyebrows across the country, especially among anyone interested in extraterrestrials. Astronomers were excited to discover the interstellar object last year. It was named Oumuamua. If we make contact with them, I think in this century, we'll probably pick up signals, signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. Since the beginning of space exploration, we've been trying to find out if we're the only ones in the universe. As we've learned more about the planets in our solar system, it's become pretty clear that we're probably alone here. But what if that's only true for our solar system? That's the big question everyone asked when we first encountered Oumuamua. And now, in a surprising twist, it's back. Michio Keiku just said that Oumuamua has come back, and things are getting weird. Join us as we uncover what's really happening and what all of this might mean for the future of Earth. Back in 2017, astronomers stumbled upon something truly mind-blowing, a discovery that flipped the world of science upside down. This discovery involved an object named Oumuamua, and it was a game-changer for a significant reason. Oumuamua was unlike anything we'd seen before. It was the very first interstellar object to venture through our solar system. So when Oumuamua swung by, it was like getting a letter from a faraway land. This unusual guest gave researchers a golden opportunity. They could finally study something that didn't come from our own cosmic backyard. This discovery opened up a whole new chapter in space exploration. Scientists could now peek into the characteristics, makeup, and movements of objects that hailed from way beyond our familiar territory. Imagine this. You've only ever met your neighbors, and suddenly, a traveler from a different country arrives on your street. You'd want to know everything about them, right? That's how scientists felt about Oumuamua. But here's where things get really captivating. Oumuamua wasn't your average space rock. It wasn't like the comets we know, those icy bodies that hang out in the outer parts of our solar neighborhood. Nope. Oumuamua was more like a cosmic cigar, long and rocky with a shape that set it apart from anything we've seen in our solar system. Imagine if all the comets you've heard about were like round snowballs, but suddenly, here comes a muamua, looking like a long, rocky stick. It's like comparing an ice cream cone to a pencil. And here's another twist. Most comets get a little tail when they get close to the sun, like a glowing kite string. But a muamua? Nope. It didn't show any tail. It was like a kite without a string. This odd behavior got scientists scratching their heads even more. But the excitement didn't stop there. Oumuamua seemed to be playing hard to catch, not just moving with gravity like a normal space traveler. It was as if there were secret forces nudging it along, forces other than the sun's pull. Two possible explanations came up. One was outgassing, which is like an object sneezing out gas, making it move. The other was sunlight itself. The tiny particles of light from the sun were gently pushing Oumuamua, like a cosmic breeze giving it a little nudge. And that's not all. Muamua was a spinner. Imagine a top spinning on a table. Muamua spun too, and it changed how much light it gave off, kind of like a blinking light. This was super unusual. No asteroid or comet in our solar system did this to such a degree. It's like if your toy top suddenly started lighting up and blinking as it spun. It's just not what you'd expect. Diving even deeper into the enigma of Muamua. Sizing it up feels like estimating the length of a shadow in the dark. Different teams of scientists have employed various methods to gauge Oumuamua's true size, yielding a range of answers. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Oumuamua could span from 320 to 1,440 feet in diameter, if it were shaped like a sphere. This equates to anything from a basketball player's height to a 14-story building's height. Yet, researchers from NASA's Solar System Exploration Division proposed another notion. They envisioned Oumuamua as an elongated entity, akin to a slender strip. Their estimation pegged its length at about one quarter mile, stretching over more than four football fields. In this scenario, Oumuamua resembles a cosmic hot dog more than a cosmic meatball. Just when a semblance of certainty arose, another study entered the scene. It contended that Oumuamua is smaller than initially thought. In line with this study, Oumuamua's dimensions might measure around 147 feet in length, 144 feet in width, and 24 feet in thickness. To put it simply, if Oumuamua were a building, it would be akin to a small one-story house. Amidst the debates regarding its size, consensus prevails about Oumuamua's shape decidedly diverges from the ordinary space rocks, assuming the appearance of a cigar or, to provide a playful comparison, a remarkably slender burrito. This is where the puzzle pieces start to come together, though they're not fitting perfectly just yet. 
Certain scientists hypothesize that Oumuamua might have roamed the cosmos for billions of years, analogous to a nomad of the universe. It may have hailed from a remote sector of the galaxy before stumbling upon our solar system. This parallels uncovering a seashell on a local beach, only to realize it hails from a distant ocean. This is where the narrative takes a riveting turn. Imagine Oumuamua as a constituent of a more expansive cosmic puzzle. It could have once formed a component of a much grander entity, perhaps even a planet in another solar system. However, a cataclysmic event, resembling a cosmic explosion, disintegrated this larger entity under the formidable influence of its own star's gravity. Visualize a snow globe shattering, with its fragments scattering in every direction. Oumuamua could be one of these scattered pieces, propelled into space. What adds an extra layer of intrigue to Oumuamua is its perplexing acceleration alluded to earlier. Picture observing a bicycle abruptly gaining speed despite no one pedaling it. Oumuamua received a velocity surge, prompting a slight course correction. It entered our solar system from above the flat plane where planets orbit, skimming perilously close to the sun, at a distance approximating a quarter of that between Earth and the sun. After its closest encounter with the sun, this cosmic traveler continued its venture, departing below the plane where planets orbit. But here's the kicker. Oumuamua was speeding along at a truly astonishing rate, about 196,000 miles per hour. This rapid pace hints at the significant kinetic energy Oumuamua carried with it throughout its voyage. But this isn't just about speed, there's more to it than meets the eye. You see, studies have unveiled fascinating details about Oumuamua's makeup. It boasts a substantial outer layer, like a thick cosmic shell. This outer layer consists of carbon-rich materials, solidified through the effects of cosmic radiation during its extended travels through the vast expanse of interstellar space. Beneath this protective exterior, Oumuamua reveals its inner nature. It's remarkably dense, primarily crafted from rock, perhaps even harboring elements of metal. What sets Oumuamua apart is its lack of water or ice, a distinctive characteristic distinguishing it from typical comets or icy celestial bodies. As if that isn't intriguing enough, Oumuamua possesses a reddish tint on its surface, a result of prolonged exposure to cosmic rays spanning hundreds of millions of years. Now, here's where things take an exciting turn. The possibility that Oumuamua could be more than just a naturally occurring object. Some experts dare to speculate that it might be an artificially fashioned creation, meticulously crafted by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. The rationale behind this unconventional notion takes a few fascinating factors into account. For starters, Oumuamua's shape deviates from the norm. It's not round like the majority of space objects. It's elongated, resembling a cigar or a slender tube. In fact, it's much longer than it is wide, which sets it apart from anything we've encountered before. What's more, its movement doesn't adhere to the expected gravitational patterns we're accustomed to in space. Some ponder the possibility that Oumuamua might have been propelled by a specialized kind of propulsion system, or even technology created by beings from another world. One speculation is that Oumuamua could have harnessed the power of light to propel itself, employing a light sail to capture energy from distant stars and push itself onward. Imagine it as a piece of an incredibly advanced alien spaceship or even equipment designed for exploration. According to this thought, Oumuamua's unique features could serve multiple functions. The elongated structure could enhance its resilience during interstellar travel, while the propulsion system could facilitate precise maneuvering through the cosmos. Now, here's the intriguing part. Oumuamua didn't sport a characteristic tail or emit gas like standard comets or asteroids. This detail has sparked thoughts that perhaps this was a deliberate choice, an intentional method to keep a low profile. Some believe that the extraterrestrial creators might have employed an alternative form of propulsion, one that we're yet to fully comprehend. But let's delve into the object's reddish hue and surface properties. We've touched upon its interaction with cosmic radiation, but in the context of being an alien artifact, this coloring could hold multiple meanings. One intriguing possibility is that the creators intentionally designed Oumuamua's surface to possess this distinctive reddish tone. This could involve utilizing specific materials or coatings that interact with cosmic radiation and stellar energy in a way that confers a unique color. But why would they do this? Well, this shade might serve as camouflage, helping Oumuamua blend in with the reddish objects commonly found in outer star systems. By adopting the color of the celestial bodies around it, Oumuamua might have aimed to minimize its chances of detection or avoid attracting undue attention, further hiding its true nature. 
But what could be the motive behind such a concealed visitation? Consider an advanced extraterrestrial civilization situated in a distant star system, armed with highly advanced technology. They possess the capability to explore the cosmos and monitor other civilizations for the pursuit of knowledge. Imagine that they detect Earth with its intricate signs of life and fascinating ecosystems. Intrigued by our planet, they decide to send a reconnaissance mission to gather information. In this scenario, Oumuamua assumes the role of a vessel crafted by these alien beings. Its unconventional shape and composition could serve a multitude of purposes. The elongated form might enhance its endurance during interstellar travel, while the propulsion system allows it to traverse vast distances and navigate through space with precision. Equipped with sophisticated sensors and communication devices, Oumuamua could covertly amass data about Earth, from its atmosphere to its surface composition, even detecting signs of intelligent life. This data could then be relayed back to its creators, granting them insight into our planet from a distance. This could explain why Oumuamua initially seemed to be heading straight for Earth, but abruptly changed course. It had gathered all the information it needed. This all may sound like a plot from a science fiction novel, but considering Oumuamua's unique attributes, it's not too far-fetched to ponder whether it's more than meets the eye. So, could Oumuamua be a cosmic traveler from afar, an artifact of a distant civilization? Or is it simply a natural oddity, an astronomical anomaly that defies easy explanation? What are your thoughts on this? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.